So my name is Kevin Kimwale. I am a community architect, project manager, and a researcher. I use a research development and innovation, RDI, to uh, motivate the green agenda in local and maybe poorer communities by using alternative mat materials, recycling, for example, in building buildings that are more uh, social in nature. Uh, it could be preschools, creches, community centers. Kushuguti kwa gu Uganda gu ingani sebe ba ning abantu abafunukshi ingani kushuguti eka ya inda wa isi ingani seng funuguti kubeni inda wa enkulu kushuguti gu tale la ngo 2013 ingani zazo 18 kushuguti gengo kshia na wemi ya ganja logi zloku kupuga kupuga kesa zizaba o seven. So in this case, we use collapsible shipping containers. So that unit is the same globally. So we're able to get it, explore it, test it in different contexts and be able to get a solution that we then very quickly uh, fine tune to a local solution. The wood is also recycled. So uh, we created laminated beams. This structure, for instance, is made from those platforms or the frames from the car manufacturing industry. So the first thing I thought is like, can you maybe send them an email and ask, is there anything that you can change on this frame that might make building with it easier, but it doesn't really make a difference to them. So move this bracket an inch that way or inch this way. It makes the world of a difference when you're trying to build stuff together on site. From the first moment when you manufacture the first thing, you have to start thinking about how it can be upcycled. Also, we looked at, uh, well, the challenges of energy, it being a rural area. So we introduced the biogas with our partners, Engineers Without Borders. We've actually customized a biogas system specifically for the school and this setup uh, so that we can get a maximum yield of energy. The biogas, it's a very old technology where you have bacteria eating up all organic material, anything that can rot basically, and then in a process they release gas. And this gas is mainly uh, CO2, carbon dioxide and methane. That's good enough to produce enough heat and quite clean flame that people can, can cook with. We can even run a small generator with the gas. It's unique that we are actually combining human waste with uh, animal waste and how that works is uh, we've raised this so that our drains go in the opposite direction. We feed the baggers with both of them and then it comes back through the bays into, back into the toilet system and then we can disperse the water to feed the tree. Well, we've looked at energy, we've looked at food, uh, we've looked of course at the materials that we're using. If we succeed with this, we'll, with the engineers with our borders, we could then stretch this to other schools, uh, other projects, especially in the rural context, that could benefit to something like this. Ehe <laughs> I think I try to use the human-centered approach and the green agenda to give dignity to communities uh, that would otherwise not afford an architect. I try to demystify what architecture is so that we can really bring it down to our communities. I think we're creating precedents and by creating these precedents, others are able to be a little bit more bolder and jump in. 